welcome back to my channel guys so i know it's been a couple weeks i haven't been on youtube but i just struggle with being consistent that's just what it is i just struggle with being consistent but i'm back and today i'm gonna be doing a video on the five top essential items that you need while going to dialysis that normally people don't tell you that you need until you you know start going so the first thing you need what well, i need is some coffee i go to starbucks like every morning and get like the um a croissant and a coffee you don't have to drink starbucks but that's just what i do you can eat what as long as you have breakfast before you go to dialysis you'll be fine as long as you eat you're good so i would say that's number one okay number two you need some cover you need a blanket you know any kind of cover like if you want a thorough blanket if you want a big blanket you can bring a big a big blanket and don't think that just because you bring a big blanket you being dramatic no it's really cold in there and you're in there for about three and a half hours to like four hours so you need a blanket you need a pillow number three you need a pillow well they give you a pillow a pillow like a little a neck pillow so um if you want to bring an extra pillow that's fine so i'm not going to throw that in there because they give you a pillow um number three you need a snack you need something to chew on while you're there because you're going to get hungry. And that breakfast you ate that morning is not going to fill you up. So make sure you bring a snack. They do not provide you a snack. They do, however, give you in. Depending on your diet and what you need, they give you like a, um, it's kind of like a, a Nutri-Grain bar. Well, it's not like, a, it's the shape of a Nutri-Grain bar, but it's, um, it's, it's, it's like a protein bar and they have different flavors so they do give you a protein bar or they'll give you a shake either one um i started at first i started with the shake i didn't like the shake so i stopped um getting the shake and um i started getting the protein bar and i don't really like the protein bar like that so i don't even i just bring my own snacks so you need a snack that's number three Number four, whatever kind of medicine that you on, you will need to bring that medication. Especially if you're first starting out, they need to know exactly what kind of med uh, medication you need. But um, like for instance, me, I take um, seizure medication and also I take like high blood pressure medicine. So before I get there, I take my seizure medicine and then right after my treatment, I take another dose of my seizure medicine. So yeah, it's good to have your medicine um, on hand just in case after your treatment, you need to take medicine. And um, number five, I would say bring your device like well of course you're gonna have that but your cell phone um a laptop a ipad um anything to keep you entertained uh, books you could bring a book to read um it's really gonna be hard depending on um well when you first start out you're gonna have like a catheter in your shoulder but once you get uh, further along they're gonna have you're gonna have to put like needles in your arm basically that's how you, they drain the blood out so it's gonna be hard to like move um one arm like me i just keep my arm still and i'm just working with my dominant arm my right arm so it's probably gonna be a little hard like versus like a well a tablet you could just like swipe with one hand but like a computer you need both of your hands so um a book is fine you could do a book or like rubber uh, word puzzles um i used to write when i first went so that's kind of easy it'll get it'll get better it sounds like a lot but it will get better um during the process um they also do provide a tv so it's a tv there um they do have cable but some of the channels it's like they don't have certain channels and like if you don't want to be waiting on commercials and stuff like that you can just bring like i say you have your phone or whatever and you can watch what you want to watch they do supply you headphones so i'm going to tell you what they let me get some help for okay they do when you first okay when you first start off they give you when you first go to dialysis well the treatment i went to they supply you a duffel bag and the duffel bag is like a little gym bag like you know a duffel bag so um what comes in the duffel bag is a davida blanket well i go to davida but whatever place they uh that you go to i'm pretty sure it'll have the name of that but um they give you like a blanket like a little it's not a sheet, but it's not a blanket. 
like in between like a, like a throw blanket they give you a throw blanket they give you a neck pillow they give you headphones they give you the big old headphones um they give you like a little keychain to put your medications in they give you paperwork and they give you other little things that you need inside of your gym bag okay but for me the gym bag that they supply me is very i'm not trying to be ungrateful but it's cheap and it break easily so i have my own bag that i bring and you could get a bag from like walmart like a, a tote bag that's like five dollars that you take to the beach that's what i have and um i in this been i still have it so it's really good um i have that bag and then i also have that blanket that they gave me the blanket is still holding up so that's good the headphones they give you do not hold up they don't last more than like a week or two they're like i said they're cheap um and then they're the big old headphones so they don't last so you would need to bring definitely bring your own set of headphones because they're either gonna break on you or one of the head uh, the ear size they're gonna give out so um that's that so i still have my pillow well do i still have my pillow no i don't have my pillow no more i think i lost my pillow but i have my own um neck pillow so the neck so you you'll be good on your blanket you'll be good on your pillow just bring your own headphones and you're good but for me i'm really really cold because i'm so small so i bring the blanket that they give me or you don't even have to bring it there bring blanket you could bring your own blanket i bring my own throw uh throw blanket <laughs> And I bring like a big blanket because it's cold. And I bring an extra pillow to sit on because the chairs are very uncomfortable. And you're going to be sitting there, you know, for three and a half hours. And it's hard to move when you have needles stuck in your arm for three and a half straight. And um, what else I bring? My, I said my, oh, my own set of headphones and your own snacks. Oh, and bring your own bottle of water. Bring your own bottle of water because some people, they, especially right now, you don't want to have the water that they give you because some nurses they'll give you like the faucet water and i don't drink faucet water i'm not trying to sound bougie but i just don't drink faucet water or depending on who you have they'll uh give you like a water cold water and i don't like cold i i know i'm picky i don't like cold water so i bring my own bottle bottle of water so you can bring your own bottle of water on whatever you want to like shakes or juice whatever you can bring your own drink and then you're good and then you don't have to worry about you're not asking them to give you water or you can always have your water on deck but yeah that's it so that's the top my top five items that i need i need and if i'm not sending it in order my i'm sorry but i need my coffee or um my breakfast before i get there most likely coffee and a croissant from starbucks that's what i get every morning um i need my blanket i need a pillow i need my bottle of water i need my headphones and yeah oh bring you some socks wear some socks on your feet i'm telling you bro some socks on your feet because it gets so cold in there it's freezing and i'm not over exaggerating it's freezing in there especially for me like if you're small oh, sorry, I gotta bring my nose. but if you're small like me you need um socks because it's cold and wear comfy clothes like you don't know once you get there god forbid you have to be on dialysis but if you know someone that's um on dialysis and you're you basically expecting what what you need and what you need to wear wear like um clothes like loose fit clothes like you can wear this shirt depending on what you have if you have a fistula or something in your arm when you have the needles as long like if you wear a short sleeve shirt that's fine because your arm is um out already but you could wear this if you have a catheter you know because it's covered up your shoulder but it's easy to like pull down and then clean it so yeah that's that and everything is everything other than that everything you should be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. And if you need extra stuff and you have questions, just ask your um, nurse and they'll tell you. But that was me. That's my preference. And that's what I have because I'm dramatic. And not even dramatic. I'm cold and I'm picky. And that's that's just works for me. But yeah, this is what... Uh, work for me so i hope my little five tips helped you guys out and like i said god forbid i hope no one is on dialysis but if you are just don't be discouraged and just know that everything is going to be okay everything happens for a reason i know it's easy said and done trust me i know i've been through that stage 
But um, if someone you know that's on dialysis, just show them this video and just uh, let them know that everything's going to be okay. You know, it's hard. It's very hard. It's, it's very discouraging. It's depressing. But with prayer and support, you will get through it. And you have me. So, yeah, I'm here to help. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, yeah, that's it. And if you want to know something else about, like, the real that's, that goes down in dialysis, just let me know. And I, I'm honest. I'm honest. I said honest. I'm honest. I'm 100% honest. Like, everything I tell you that happens dealing with me or the situation on dialysis, trust me, it's real. Like, this is literally what to expect, you know? So, yeah. And if you guys ask, wondering why I'm in a car... I was supposed to been filming this video at home, but I got lazy and I didn't. I just got lazy. Okay, I'm sorry. I got lazy, so I'm out. Um, it's one o'clock right now, and I decided to kill time. So I'm like, why not? I just left Starbucks. So I'm like, why not just sit in the car and just film my top five essential items that you need while on dialysis? So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. And also, let me know. Come, Please comment down below and let me know what kind of videos that you would like for me to do dealing with my situation and my journey. Because I really want to help people that's like me and people that's going through similar situations. Because I feel like it, that is definitely not talked about enough. So, yeah, just comment down below. Like this video. Make sure and share. And make sure you like this video and comment and subscribe. And stay tuned. Peace. <laughs>